Are you planning to buy a car? Are you planning to buy an utility vehicle of around 7, 7.5 lakhs? Do you want a 7-seater vehicle? Well, fear not, because it's me, Sashank Sharma, and I have brought you the exact answer. So we are here today at Asago Renault, Guwahati city, uh, who has given us this vehicle, which is the Renault Triber for reviewing. Now this car, is uh, it comes in the mid-segment seven-seater car and with its competition, it leads the competition actually, if you talk about it. And I'm going to show you all of it, but first and foremost, what I'm going to tell you is this. You cannot beat the global end cap of this car which comes with a 4 star rating. This is the same 1 litre engine that Renault uses uh, on their quid version and even on the Kyger but with a turbocharged. But there is no turbocharger on this particular model but still we are going to test it because it comes with the new automatic uh, AMT gearbox. So we are going to test it tomorrow extensively. Now this is the back side of the Triber and I am currently going to open it. So as you can see this is the 84 litre boot space which is not exactly a lot but this is in the tribe mode which is this uh, 7 seater mode but uh, we can also convert it to 3 other modes but I am going to directly show you the life mode which is the 5 seater mode. So now you have seen me converting this space from the tribe mode of the 7 seater uh, and 84 liters of boot space to what it's now the life mode with 625 liters of boot space and it's massive so massive that a 100 kilo guy like me fits in here very easily so we are here in manas national park this is a beautiful place and we are here to review the renault triber now this particular car comes with four variants but we are reviewing the highest variant which is the RXZ Plus and it comes with uh, the automatic gearbox which is the AMT, Automated Manual Transmission which is a lifesaver. I have driven this vehicle for over 200 odd kilometers and it's a savior as you can see. I'm not tired, I can do 200 more very easily and this is just a start. We'll go inside, we'll do some off-road runs and we'll see how it goes. So right now we are cruising at a speed of 70 to 80 kilometers an hour on the highway and uh, we have a full house of six people in the car and as you can see it's quite comfortable uh, yes there's a little bit of cabin noise that you can hear of right now we are crossing some rumble strips and that's a little bit of cabin noise but that's all to it I mean there's nothing more than that plus the ride is really plush the suspension works really nice the instrument cluster is nice and clear you can figure everything out very easily uh, the trip meters the average of the car everything can be filled very easily the music system is uh, the display looks very nice uh, ac vents it's ventilated from front to rear to the last row in fact and in a way that's yeah pretty good and we're especially driving the automatic one the amt version and this makes things much easier for you uh, then the manual shift. Yeah, obviously you feel a certain lack in power when you do a pull Suppose you're overtaking someone uh, You feel a certain lack in power, but that's it. I mean, and that's nothing major like portrayed in some other videos 
So right now we have traveled around 51, 52 kilometers and we have lost around two sticks and there's a total of six sticks of fuel uh, line there and we've lost two sticks out of it. So the average mileage that's shown right now is 13.1 uh, kilometers a liter. So this is what the card is showing but then uh, in actuality we can calculate it only after we reach uh, our destination and we refuel it. Then we'll calculate the exact kilometers minus the average. So if we look at the space available in this car, especially for luggage storage and especially uh, storing phones and small uh, things, you have a decent storage out here. If you can look, I put my phone here, the camera lens cover is here. We've got some food and other stuff over here. The gear is here, but still uh, out here we can put another phone and then we have this massive cooling box. So at least two bottles of water are cooled very easily over here. Plus, on top of that, we have two glove boxes over here. One decent sized glove box. But if this is a little small for you, we have another very big glove box over here. So as you can see, the space is enormous. Plus, the space on the doors is pretty nice. As you can see, I have put two bottles over here, which fits very easily. So now let's come to the practicality of this entire thing and this is the front row space. Uh, well, this is a bit too much for me actually and I'm around 5'11". So for me, uh, front row seating is pretty good. It's actually too spacious and very easy for me to sit. Now I'll show you if I put the seat forward also. So this is the limit for me. I mean, I can still be easily seated while uh, being in this position and this is quite a bit forward I can take it a little bit rear and still be comfortable and the second row seat being comfortable with that headroom as you can see is quite a lot there's qu uh, quite a lot of space and for a 5 feet 11 guy I think that's good enough so this is the uh, common height of most Indians so I think uh, for Indian people this front row seat is excellently comfortable uh, with that said I'll just show you the space on the door now the door space we have put two bottles and it's still uh, quite easily fitting so uh, if we put more luggage also i think it will be easily uh, adjustable over here coming to the second row of seats as you can see the middle seat uh, is still very comfortable now this i have adjusted with my full comfort at the front and this still has quite a lot of space this is a lot of space actually and uh, headroom over here also as you can see is quite substantial so plenty of room this side for two more people to sit I can recline this back if I want to and be comfortably sitting over here if I don't want to I need more lumbar support I can take this forward as you can see we are filled to the brim with luggage but still there's plenty of seating capacity on the third row now these were the AC vents I was talking about these are there on the third row as well so the third row passenger is also sitting very nicely so uh, now we are here with Kaibo who was one of our co-passengers and the main camera crew behind our entire video so uh, I want him to tell me or tell all of you what exactly he felt for this entire 350 odd kilometers that we did so Kaibo please tell us uh, what you felt on this car uh, versus any other car for that matter or uh, the entire experience of yours on this car so first of all I would like to tell being a big guy uh, almost six feet so it's often being a quite trouble for being comfortable in a car so uh, I was sitting in the first uh, passenger seat so the leg room was phenomenal and the thigh support was obviously big I have some big legs so <laughs> yeah, yeah I was being, feeling very relaxed and yeah the headspace was quite good and yeah i have also i was taking some shots from the bolero and yeah switching between the both cars in quite a short period of time i can really tell the difference between the suspension and we were also doing uh, quite a bit of off-road right yeah so there was a stretch of 20 21 yeah. kilometers of continuous off-road you must have seen in the video but it was 21 kilometers of continuous off-road so the suspension felt very comfortable and really plush so yeah that felt really good and I was really comfortable and I didn't feel like I did uh, 300 kilometers yesterday so yeah that's one of my I will that's, that's basically a boon to the yeah. uh, good things about this car now there's another thing that I would like to cite is that uh, in, in spite of doing such a long trip and so many kilometers 
not once have we touched the floor of this car now 185 uh, millimeters on paper doesn't seem much when you compare that to something of a proper utility vehicle like a scorpio or a bolero uh, but then when you do a full off road session and then you don't touch anywhere uh, on the low side of the car that is the running boards or uh, on the shafts or anything then you realize this is a ca- very capable 185 millimeters that you're getting and not some- not something just on paper any car's review is not complete without negatives of that car every car every model has some positive sides to it and some negatives so does this now we have told you many positive sides now we are coming to the negatives we are touching those negatives but then there are some positives in, in it as well uh, coming to the steering it's a beautiful steering small wheel uh, easily controllable very connected to the road but there are no steering mounted switches which is uh, there on any other model i mean some models which are way less costly than this car has got those switches so that's one negative one more thing that i have noticed there is no apple carplay on the uh, multimedia console like i'll show you so as you can see here there is no option for apple carplay so that is one of the downside because most of the users of these cars are nowadays having apple iphones so without uh, apple carplay it's kind of a negative to this car sir Uh, there's one more positive to this. That is the start-stop button. Now you don't need to plug in any key anywhere. You just need to press this once, and it's off. If you want to start it up, grab hold of the brake and press this start, and it started. It's that simple. So another thing which is a negative of this car is lack of leg support on the second row. Now, for short people uh, who are below five feet six or five feet seven, for them this is quite comfortable, even for me. But then, when you're talking long journeys, and a little leg support should have been there on this car, which is missing, which might turn out to be a negative side if you take it to uh, a very long drive, which might be of thousand plus kilometers. We have not done it uh, yet, so we don't know for sure. But then, this is one negative. So we have completed around halfway of the trip from uh, Basbari to Mathanguri, and what a journey it has been! Beautiful road and beautiful off-road, and what a scene, what a journey! And we're going all the way there, and I'll show you a beautiful sight. That is a Manas River, and our car will be standing next to it, and it'll be phenomenal. Just keep watching this. So finally, we are here at our destination, and this is the beautiful country of Bhutan on the opposite side, and we are in Indian side. So this is Manas National Park, and we love this place. After around an hour or so of driving through some really bad roads, and our car has kept up to its name. It's a beautiful seven-seater. Now, some people have claimed that there's no power, but it's not what it seemed when we were riding it. In fact, we enjoyed the ride drive, and we were following a very capable off-roader, if you have seen. So this was beautiful. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go very close to that river, so that we can get some very good shots. And look at the sunset view. the way uh, the sun is reflecting on the water it looks so purifying
so we have come down all the way to the river Manas river over here which flows down from Bhutan and this vehicle has passed every single test according to our test charts we put it through some really rough patches we put it on nice roads beautiful highways we put it through some high speeds some low speeds and everything that can be done and if you can see this has come to the end point of the indian continent i mean sorry the indian country border so if it can reach here uh, i think this is a perfect choice for all you buyers who are who have around 7.5 lakh rupees and they're looking for a seven seater for multi-purpose uses with an NCAP rating of four stars uh, this completely rocks the competition over its Maruti Suzuki counterpart the suspension has been really stable uh, well in some cases it works to a negative side because when you hit some bumps uh, and that is not uh, the ones on road I'm talking about the bumps that you get on a proper off-road session when you hit some bumps it's little jerky but then on normal roads the body roll is pretty low brakes are pretty nice very good brakes in fact and all in all it's a beautiful vehicle it's a good off-roader a decent off-roader especially to come to practical to put it to practical purposes and it's a good three lakhs cheaper than the Ertiga top model so for three lakhs less you're getting so much more so it's totally your choice where you want to go but for us 88 racing would recommend Triber so it's been two days of rigorous testing two days of absolute madness and it all comes to an end here and finally we're gonna rest a bit we're gonna chill in this amazing beautiful place amazing Assam uh, if you like this vlog make sure to like share and subscribe to 88 racing with that said 88 Racing says goodbye. See you in another vlog.